Welcome, star kids and friends. Today's passage in God's Word is Acts chapter 16, verse 16, right through to the end of that passage. Acts 16, verses 16 through 40. Now, in the previous passage in Acts 16 that we read, the Holy Spirit guided Paul and Silas to travel to Macedonia to share the gospel of Jesus Christ. A woman named Lydia opened her heart to respond to Paul's message and was saved along with the members of her household. They were all baptized. In today's passage, Paul and his companions continue to witness and preach the gospel in the city, and it causes quite the commotion. Paul will command an evil spirit out of a girl. The message the girl is shouting is true, but Paul did not want the people listening to think that God's message was coming from this evil spirit. Now this action will cause Paul and Silas to experience suffering, but God uses the testimony of their unshakable faith to help a jailer believe in the gospel. Before we read today's passage from Acts 16, let's pray and ask God to teach us. Lord Jesus, again, we thank you for the precious gift that you've given to us in the Bible. We know the Holy Spirit inspired men to write it, and so we ask now for his help to illumine our minds, to open our hearts, so that we might understand what the passage is saying and apply it to our own lives today. We pray in your holy name. Amen. So read along in your Bibles with me, starting at Acts chapter 16, verse 16. Acts 16, verse 16. Once we were going to the place of prayer, once when we were going to the place of prayer, we were met by, we were met by a female slave who had a spirit by which she predicted the future. She earned a great deal of money for her owners by fortune-telling. She followed Paul and the rest of us, shouting, These men are servants of the Most High God, who are telling you the way to be saved. She kept this up for many days. Finally, Paul became so annoyed that he turned around and said to the spirit, In the name of Jesus Christ, I command you to come out of her. At that moment... The spirit left her. When her owners realized that their hope of making money was gone, they seized Paul and Silas and dragged them into the marketplace to face the authorities. They brought them before the magistrates and said, These men are Jews and are throwing our city into an uproar by advocating customs unlawful for us Romans to accept or practice. The crowd joined in the attack against Paul and Silas, and the magistrates ordered them to be stripped and beaten with rods. After they had been severely flogged, they were thrown into prison, and the jailer was commanded to guard them carefully. When he received these orders, he put them in their inner cell and fastened their feet in the stocks. About midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God and the other prisoners were listening to them. Suddenly there was such a, a violent earthquake that the foundations of the prison were shaken. At once all the prison doors flew open, and everyone's chains came loose. The jailer woke up, and when he saw the prison doors open, he drew his sword and was about to kill himself because he thought the prisoners had escaped. But Paul shouted, Don't harm yourself! We're all here! The jailer called for lights, rushed in, and fell trembling before Paul and Silas. He brought them out and asked, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? They replied, Believe in the Lord Jesus, and you will be saved, you and your household. Then they spoke the word of the Lord to him and to all the others in his house. At that hour of the night, the jailer took them and washed their wounds. Then immediately... He and all his household were baptized. The jailer brought them into his house and set a meal before them. He was filled with joy because he had come to believe in God, he and his whole household. When it was daylight, the magistrates sent the officers to the jail with the order, release those men. The jailer told Paul, the magistrates have ordered that you and Silas be released. Now you can leave, go in peace. But Paul said to the officers, they beat us publicly without a trial, even though we are Roman citizens, and threw us into prison. And now do they want to get rid of us quietly? No, 
Let them come themselves and escort us out. The officers reported this to the magistrates. And when they heard that Paul and Silas were Roman citizens, they were alarmed. They came to appease them and escort them from the prison, requesting them to leave the city. After Paul and Silas came out of the prison, they went to Lydia's house, where they met with the brothers and sisters and encouraged them. Then they left. So what is God saying to you today in this passage of God's Word, which we've just read? You need to think about it and perhaps even read the passage over again, if you like. And then you can write down in your soap journal what God is teaching you. Don't forget, of course, to share it with someone else. God bless you.